station. The morning show starts now. Coming up, how you can protect yourself and your family against antibiotic resistant bacteria. That's right after the break. It is a global emergency that could cause 2 million serious infections or illnesses and 23,000 deaths every single year. The World Health Organization is spending billions to fight superbugs or drug resistant bacteria. The herbal, herbal pharmacist David Foreman is joining us now with some ways that you can protect yourself from an antibiotic overload and drug resistant bacteria. Thanks for being here this morning. Great to be here. Good seeing you this morning. And, and you, you were telling me earlier uh, that we take so much antibiotics over our life. It's, it's really mind boggling. Yeah, it is. Actually, this jar represents what the average American will take in tablets or capsules in their lifetime in antibiotics. It's over 1,600. That's ridiculous. That's yeah. the average American. Right. Uh, they make, you know, some people make up for me because I don't take them because <laughs> I practice what I preach. The other staggering thing was, though, that 80% of the antibiotics sold in the United States go to the agriculture in industry, which means that they go into beef, pork, chicken, fish. So you might not, you might be like me and not taking antibiotics at all, but if you're eating and it's not organic, you're still consuming antibiotics. So we need to do things to make up for the Fat. One of the reasons we create these superbugs not only is just antibiotics, but then uh, because they the bacteria mutate. But the other thing is that we kill the friendly bacteria in our body, and that's a great place to start um, with you know the prevention program. And herbals, uh, supplements, or or any kind of you know mushrooms or th these kind of things don't they don't create that antibiotic uh, bacteria resistant strain? Not necessarily. No, they no they won't no they will not cause that at all. And in some cases. Uh, that can help with the, a reversal of, of the situation. So we, it's an epidemic. It really is. Right. Tell so, us about uh, what, what you brought here and how it'll help. Okay. So the first thing is, you know, if you are not eating organic and you're you have been using antibiotics, um, I think the most important thing is not a multivitamin. Everybody thinks, oh man, I'm going to go to my pharmacy and get right. a multivitamin. Yeah. I actually consider a probiotic more important than a multivitamin. So this is an example of a probiotic. Um, it, it uses a technology, a tableting technology called GI Guard. GI Guard, when you take a, a, a probiotic, the bacteria can be destroyed by your stomach acid. You want it to bypass your stomach and go straight to your small intestine to be insolved, dissolved. Uh, GI Guard, so if you're looking for a good probiotic, look for GI Guard because that's going to guarantee that the probiotic gets to where you need it to go, small right. and large intestine. So, um, good stuff. The second thing, we have mushrooms here. These are more medicinal mushrooms like shiitake, maitake mushrooms. Some of them just taste like garbage and, and or you have to consume a ton of them to really get an effect. Why do we want m mushrooms? They support your immune system. Button mushrooms and portobellos and stuff don't really cut it. You really need to go more medicinal. And since you have to eat so many and, you know, some people don't even dig uh, the mushroom idea, I use an extract called AHCC. That's actually my personal bottle right there. Um, this is one of those supplements that supports your immune function. So it activates your immune system so that when you are going to come in contact, I'm not saying when you might, it, we're all going to come in contact Some with bacteria, viruses, whatever. This is something I take on a daily basis to amp up my immune system. And then again, kind of sticking with the whole food theme here, pomegranates. pomegranates. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. know, a lot of people I think are familiar with the palm, you know, pomegranate juices. Um, I'm encouraging people just buy pomegranates. They're not that expensive. Um, there's some, I saw some YouTube videos on actually how to get the seeds out. I used to butcher the thing until recently. Um, but you can either, you can even buy the seeds already out nowadays. And how do they help the seeds? Well, they're high in antioxidants and, and other things that will support your immune system. So the whole concept here is either support your, your, your uh, digestive system, which is 70% of your immunity with something like sync, you know, taking medicinal mushrooms and then consuming pomegranates, whether it's a quarter cup of the seeds every day mm -hmm. or, you know, sucking down four ounces of uh, pomegranate juice. It's really a, you really kind of have to reprogram your brain. So many people are programmed to go with the you know, antibiotics, how can they get more information from you on what's going to help them? Uh, I just go to my website to start with, I, you know, I don't sell anything and it's just real easy information. Uh, you can email me questions if you have even if, about other topics other than this today. All right, David, we appreciate Thank you being here. I'm going to pop my probiotic. I, I didn't take any of today. <laughs> you got to take it today. Yeah, right you got to stay healthy, right? Yeah, right on. Practice what I preach, man. <laughs> you can always get more information from David at his website. We posted a link on our website, newsforjacks.com. Just look under the morning show page. We appreciate you being here. Thank you. Nikki?